Hello everyone, welcome to Ayas Baba. I hope all of you did well in the exams today. So today in this session we are going to discuss about this history questions that were asked and very few history questions were asked this particular year and uh, we will discuss one by one and the first question I think which one of the following is a work attributed to playwright Basha. So answer option is C. Okay, because Mahabhasha is about uh, Patanjali. Okay, so it is by Patanjali. And uh, then again, Nate Shastra by Bharata Muni. Hmm? By Bharata Muni. Okay, so actually this Kavya Lankar is attributed to two different personalities. Uh, but uh, this particular question, that is Bhasha, that is uh, Madhyama Vyayoga. So that should be the answer option. And we have attached certain sources also. So it will be pasted, uh, it will be posted in the YouTube comment sections. So you can go through this uh, sources too. Okay. And then again, the uh, second question, uh, Sangabhuti, an Indian Buddhist monk who traveled to China at the end of the 4th century AD, was the author of a commentary on, I think this kind of a uh, bouncer kind of question, very unknown uh, these kind of personalities are. So answer option should be this one, that is uh, Sarvastivada Vinaya, because this is attributed to, the sutras are attributed to Nagarjuna, who is called as Einstein of India, one of the Buddhist philosophers, and Vishuddhi Magga, it is attributed to Buddha Gosha. Hmm? Buddha Gosha. If you knew these kind of famous uh, books over there, I think you could have eliminated uh, thinkly. But again, these kind of questions are quietly, I would say, uh, slightly uh, difficult, I would say. Okay, because Lalita Vistara again, it is a combination, it is a work attributed to many scholars again. So, answer option left is that one, Sarvastivada Vinay. Again, uh, source being given. So, you can go through that sources later. And this is one of the easiest of question. Uh, Naya Putta, of course, it is a epithets. Uh, the epithets are uh, nothing but uh, description of certain individuals. So, Buddha's epithets are Shakyamuni as well as uh, Tathagata. So, Naya Putta, it is majorly uh, about Mahavira. Hmm? It is majorly about Mahavira. So, answer option should be second entry because Shakyamuni is named after his clan, that is Shakya clan. And that is answer option is two and three. Okay, answer option is two and three. Uh, that is easily available in you know, of the uh, sources too. Okay. And this is a new kind of a new kind of pattern that is evolved. So we have to match two description, not just one description, two description. Chandragetagar, I think archaeological site, state as well descriptions have been given. So what that uh, place is famous for? Uh, Chandragetagar, of course, it is in West Bengal. It is given as Odisha. So it will take, you can eliminate these two statements because first statement is wrong. And then Inamgao, Maharashtra, that is correct, Chalcolithic site. And Mangadu, Kerala, that is also correct. It is a megalithic site. But this particular place which is mentioned, it is Andhra Pradesh, that is right. But uh, the description is wrong description is about a buddhist site so that is the reason i think two and three are correct so answer option is b again sources also have been uh, pasted over here so you can go through that later the uh, this is no this is also in news actually it was in one of the newspapers too okay so recently so that we have pasted here uh, who give the permission for Portuguese to build a fort in Badkal? very simple that is krishna devaraya krishna devaraya also helped portuguese to occupy goa uh, from Bijapur Sultanate. So it is one of the medieval question which was asked. Uh, this is around uh, beginning of the 16th century. So that is when this particular event took place. And it was also recently news because uh, Batkal Fort, which is called as Forgotten Fort. So that is where probably the questions might have, question might have arise from. And this is uh, related to the Vedic literature. So Upanishads, we know their part. I think the Vedic literature, we talk about the Vedas and then again Vedas Samhita, then again Brahmanas and then again uh, Aranyakas, hmm? Aranyakas, then again Upanishads. There are four parts to every Veda. There are four parts to every Veda. And these are composed between uh, 1500 to 1000 and then again from 1000 to uh, 600 BC onwards. And these Puranas generally, so they are quite late. Okay, so after 600 BC, that is after uh, 600 BC onwards. So, they composed in the common eras also. They composed during the uh, AD era also. So, that is the reason that is particularly the Upanishads were earlier than Puranas. And uh, this particular statement says there are no parables in Upanishads. Parables are nothing but short moral stories. Of course, Upanishads are filled with this kind of moral stories. Uh, Nachiketa, Yama and then again Savitri. Okay, so different kind of stories are there. So, that is a slightly, even if you use GK, uh, you could have uh, gotten this question right. So, this question is wrong uh, because which are correct statements. So, this question is wrong. Uh, this statement is wrong and this statement is right. So, answer option should be B. Okay, so that has been given. And this is slightly, I would say, uh, different answer options can we come up with. 
So instead of uh, giving any one absolute answer option over here, because second statement is correct about the Royatwari system with reference to revenue collection by Cornwall is considered the following statements. Okay. So we are talking about the permanent settlement. Okay. If the Zamindar failed to pay the revenue to the states and the Zamindar rate could be sold off and that is right. Okay. So under the permanent settlement and that is correct because there is a one clause called as sunset clause. Okay. We discuss all these things in our classes. Okay. Sunset clause. Uh, sunset clause is nothing but that is uh, before the sunset of the date which is fixed. Uh, the Zamindar said to pay the revenue. If they don't pay it, so this uh, zamindar right will be taken away and will be given to other zamindar that is exact and the permanent settlement in bengal if the zamindar failed to pay his revenue to the state on or before the fixed date he would be removed from his zamindar this statement is correct okay and look at the first statement under the royatwari settlement of revenue collection the peasants were exempted from revenue payments in case of bad harvest or natural calamities actually with the rules and regulation of royatwari system this statement can become right because on the rules and regulation on paper it is it was there but the british officials they might not have followed these particular rules and regulations because especially uh, famine after famine courts uh, many famine commissions were established during the british time period like strategic commission then again mcdonald commission then many commissions were established and this famine commissions which commissions came with famine code they also asked the british government to give exemptions to the people where the famine conditions are there and we also talk about the keda satyagraha Okay, Kera Satyagraha by Gandhiji uh, after he came back from South Africa. So, where in Gujarat that is a Kera Satyagraha, the people were protesting against remission was not given because according to rules, remission should be given. But people protesting against remission was not given by the Britishers. So, maybe if statement is correct, so we can go with C. But if statement is wrong, but we have to wait for the official answer keys. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, very late so if that is wrong i think we can go with only b so that is the reason uh while calculating so go, go with either b or c okay so maybe we need a little bit more research about uh, coming up with the proper answer for this particular question also so either b or c we can say okay either b if again depends upon the what kind of view point uh, the one person is arguing about before the famine commissions or after the famine commissions okay or if you take up the rules and regulations of royal system itself only so that statement could become right uh, so otherwise if you take out the actual implementation of the royal for settlement because britishers are known for the exploitation these exemptions were not given so it depends on that particular line of argument so this is about this particular question only few questions for us so seven questions we discuss so thank you so much so i wish you very all the best thank you